This is a question from Signals in System, Gate 2020 paper. If the input-output relation for a system with input x of n and output y of n is given by y of n is equal to max of x of k for k varying from minus infinity to n, then the unit impulse response of the system is asked. And the options are u of n, del of n, 1 for all n and 0 for all n. Now, in this question, an input-output relation is given. The input-output relation is y of n is equal to maximum value of x of k when k is varied from minus infinity to n. Now, the concept here is when input output relation is given, still impulse response is asked, are you in a position to find that out? Yes, we are in a position to find out the impulse response even from the input output relationship provided you know the condition that impulse response would mean nothing but the response of a system when you are giving unit impulse input del of n. And normally you call this as h of n. Normally this response is called as h of n. So, in this particular case for the unit impulse response, I can also call h x of n as del of n and y of n for this response, I will call it as h of n. So, now substituting in this particular condition, I can just substitute and find out y of n as y of n is equal to h of n provided x of n is del of n. So, maximum of k varying from minus infinity to n instead of x of k, I will have to replace x of n with del of n, x of k with del of k. This is a equation that you get. Now, to conclude this particular integral, we will try to plot for del of k. Del of k plot would be, this is a plot for del of k. Del of k, I will write k here, y k here because del of k is being plotted. Del of k, the point about del of k is, del of k will have a finite value 1 for k equal to 0. For all other integral samples, del of k will be 0. Now, let us try to split this. To find out the result for this particular equation, let us try to do it in two parts. The first part, let us try to understand this equation for n less than 0. For n less than 0, h of n, that is the impulse response, will be equal to maximum value of, maximum value of, del of k for k varying from minus infinity to n, but observe here n we are considering is less than 0, n less than 0. So, from the graph if you observe, from the graph if you observe maximum value of del of k for n less than 0, n less than 0 means I will say k is inherently negative because this is the upper bound for k and upper bound for k is negative less than 0 means k is inherently negative. That means for from minus infinity to a value of k which is negative, what is the maximum value of del of k? Del of k I have plotted here. This is del of k. For k less than 0, for k less than 0 because n is negative. What is the maximum value of del of k? For k less than 0, the maximum value of del of k is obviously 0. So, this answer would be 0. Now, I will just box this up. This is my condition for n less than 0. Now, part 2 of the discussion, I will take up for n greater than or equal to 0. For n greater than or equal to 0, h of n will be equal to maximum value of del of k again, but here the variation is from k 
k varied from minus infinity to n but understand here what I am considering this n is greater than or equal to 0 that means I could say I am considering the variations of k right from minus infinity that is extreme left to positive values 0 or positive values of k that is k variations considered from the extreme left to 0 or positive values of k for which I will have to find out the maximum value. Now del of k is very well plotted here. Now k variation I am considering from minus infinity to n where n can take values 0 or positive that means it can go beyond this. If I go beyond this and consider it to take the positive or the maximum values the maximum value for such variation will obviously be 1. So this answer would be 1. That means I can just conclude both these results. I found out my h of n for n less than 0 as well as h of n for n greater than or equal to 0. I will write both these results in a single point. h of n is equal to 0 for n less than 0. This result h of n is equal to 0 for n less than 0 and for the positive values of n h of n for n greater than or equal to 0 is 1. h of n is equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0. If you observe this what I have written for h of n is h of n signal is 0 for n less than 0 and 1 for n greater than or equal to 0. This is nothing but h of n is a unit step function. h of n in the discrete domain it's a unit step function and that would mean it is option a h of n is u of n. Option a would be the correct answer.